coming at you live from Georgia camping. And I wanted to um, follow up on something that we had talked about before. I was reading 1 Corinthians and it had a little devotion in my daughter's little Bible. It's the Adventure Bible. And it said a spiritual fitness test. And I said, oh, we've been talking about that. So I wanted to do this with you today. Um, remember we had talked about you have to reach for the Bible. You need to run to tell others about Jesus. You need to pray often. And that's how you become physically strong and spiritually strong in Jesus. Well, here in 1 Corinthians, it gives us another thing to do. But first, I want to see if you're physically fit. Now, I was going to have my son try to do some of these things, but since he broke his ankle, he can't do them for you. But at home, I want you to try doing these five things. And then I've got a question for you. I want you to do five push-ups. Then you need to do 10 sit-ups. You need to touch your toes 10 times. You need to run around the house outside or inside without hurting anything or anyone three times. And you need to try to do three pull-ups. Now, after you do those, ask yourself, were any of these exercises hard to do? If they were, do them every day, at least once a day. And by the end of the week, it'll be easier to do. And it gets so much easier. Now, spiritually speaking, there's some verses here in 1 Corinthians um, for chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. And I'll read those to you now. In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that you will get the prize. All who take part in the games train hard. They do not get a crown that will not last, but they would do it to get a crown that will last forever. So I do not run like someone who doesn't run toward the finish line. I do not fight like a boxer who has hit nothing but air. No, I train my body and bring it under control. Then after I have preached to others, I myself will not break the rules and fall, fail to win the prize. Now, one, it says, if we're spiritually fit, do we do these things? One is read your Bible every day and think about what God says. Two is do you pray every day? Three is do you pray for others who need special help? Four is, do you do something loving for someone every day? And five is, try to please God in everything you do. Well, there's a lot to do, isn't there? But we need to train hard, just like sports stars do. Then we'll be stronger Christians. We will be able to do even more for Jesus. See, just like with the fruits of the Spirit, the more that we show kindness, the more that we show um, gentleness, the more that we show self-control, the more that we show all these things, it begins to be so easy and easier to do. Sometimes it's not easy to have patience. I know that this time in quarantine, it's hard to have patience when we speak to our family members. It's hard to have patience in waiting um, and not knowing when can we go back to work? When can we go back to school? But God has got all of this. And the more we do it, the more we practice, the easier it becomes. The more we rely on Jesus, the more we pray to him, the easier it becomes. And then you'll be doing it more and more and your life will show it to others. Now, I had a real sweet dear friend, Miss Judy Berry, tell me that she did something and it was, she would sit with her hands crossed in her lap because right now you're not allowed to do what? Touch your face because of COVID-19, they said, don't touch your face. Because if you go somewhere and then you touch your face, you've got a big chance of getting um, sickness because it's through your eyes and your nose and your mouth that we get sick. Well, in order to not do that, she was sitting with her hands in her lap. And what a good posture that is to pray. So instead, when you feel like you wanna to touch your face, when you feel like you're antsy, when you feel like you're anything else, sit with your arm, hands in your lap and just pray. The more you do it, you will become stronger at it, better at it, and a better believer in Christ. I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I can't wait to see you Thursday. Bye.